every day. This is Tata Trempo Seba doing another video. Today's video is going to be on the spiritual altar or La Bovela Espiritual. First and foremost, let me just say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Now, the spiritual altar, for those of you that are unaware of what it is, is a place in which you honor your ancestral spirits called Egun's. Now, for the most part, this altar consists of a table with a white cloth and glasses of water placed on it. These glasses are called spiritual assistance. The spiritual altar is a place where we honor our eggs with prayers and offerings. It's also the place where uh, one gets to develop our spirituality and our medium powers. So if that's what you're trying to get better at. This is where you have to go to in order to realize that. Now, I've seen spiritual altars ranging from three cups all the way up to 16 cups. It all depends on your current level of spiritualism. For instance, I use only seven cups in my spiritual altar. Because I do not dedicate all my time to it like an Epitita does. Remember, I also practice Santeria and Pablo Mayurmbit. So I have to always try to balance my time and energy between the three. Now, Epitimo is a lot more complicated than people think it is. So I'll explain it the way I know it. But remember, I am not full-time Epitita. So, now... Let me let me grab this so I can do a little rough layout. Now all the spirits in that altar are considered protective spirits. They form the spiritual square, quadruped one, but here. Now mind you, I'm not an artist. So let me just So this center, so this would be your altar, right? The shape of the paper. So in the middle, you tend to put a uh, a main cup or vase, whatever, <clears throat> that has the water. Now this is what we call divine power. This is the source of the spiritual altar. Divine power, divine light, God, whatever term you're okay with it, but that's what that is. Now inside, inside that uh, main vessel in the, in the center of the altar, there's water, holy water, some people put holy water, different types of colognes, for. Cascadilla. I, I like to use blue anise. Some people do, some people don't, to each his own, you know. And then, in the center of it, goes a cross, mainly metal. Some use just a regular cross, plain cross. Others use the cross with the character called Jesus Christ on the cross. Again, <clears throat> that is to each his own. I use the one with Jesus on it because I think about my eggs and the majority of them were Christians in life. So I give them that representation. Like I said, this is for them. It's not for me. So be patient. Let me... Like I said, I am not an artist. All right, so I'll show you, like I said, I work with seven. Um, uh, like I said, it's different, different levels. People use different amounts of cups. So I'm just using an example. <clears throat> this one has the seven, the seven cups. These weird things are cups. Then you have the center vessel. Now, 
all the spirits are considered protective spirits of the spiritual uh, square, el cuadro espiritual, like, like I said. But there is one that's actually has he he supersedes every single one of them and this is what we call our spiritual guide so he tends to reside spiritual this cup on the right side of the divine power right there this is where we focus, harness the energy of the spiritual guide, okay? Now, like I said, he supersedes the other guides are, are also, you know, spiritual guides, so spiritual protectors. Now, on the other side, on the left side, you have... You have the spiritual protector. Like I said, they're all protectors, but this one right here has the sole authority of that. So it's like a little hierarchy there. Now, besides that, everybody works different. Behind the divine light, most people tend to turn on the candle. The candle behind the divine light and in front of the divine light you have a different cup that has nothing but fresh water which is that is dedicated for your egg wounds. These other cups have water but they all have a purpose this is for working these glasses are for working and this one right here is just for them now example to each you know everybody is different but let's just say that that cup right there right here you could use the energy there in order to manifest Prosperity, this one over here, you can help get that energy to manifest health and so forth and so on. Um, but besides the protective spirits and the guide and so forth and whatnot, there's one particular spirit that's called the spirit of labor. Now, this is the one that... When you have a spiritual mass, this is the one that comes through. And this is also the one that allows other spirits to come through and communicate with, with any medium in that spiritual mass. Now, let's get past that. Offerings. You could do certain foods that a particular loved one <clears throat> enjoyed when they were alive. Say on their birthday, on their death date. Or when you just constantly thinking about that person and you just decide to make that favorite meal that they used to enjoy and you take it to the altar. You can also put nine different types of drinks on there too. Flowers. I tend to use nothing but white flowers, but like I said, everybody's different. I'm just explaining to you how I do things. And like I said... <clears throat> I'm not full-time epiditista, so now you can put photos and personal belongings of a family member that has passed on that altar. But just remember, when you put that photo, make sure it's the photo of that person alone. It is not recommended that you, you put pictures of yourself with that person when they were alive or with any other family member that is still alive. You don't You don't want that. Just make sure the photos are of that person that have already passed by themselves. Um, another thing. Remember that your spiritual altar is for you, your use only. If your partner wants to work with a spiritual altar, they have to construct their own. Remember that everyone has their own spirits attached to them. So, 
someone else's spiritual altar would, would be useless to everyone else. This is what you got to understand. These spirits you're dealing with are your personal protectors and guides that it has it could be you 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 you're in the same house with your brother, your sister, but that does not mean anything because the spirits that the energies that are in there are yours and yours only. So whether it's your partner or whatever, if they want to work with the spiritual altar, they have to construct their own because it's not going to work for them. Now, like I said, I'm not too big into Epidemo because I have I have to split my time and energy among all these religions. Um, hopefully, I don't get no negative comments about this. I, I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you. I'm just breaking down a little bit. This is how I know it. This is how I work it. So um, please stay humble. Be kind to one another. Until next time, may Sami bless you and yours. And salam alaikum.